guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you 10 simple, easy, cost-effective, well fairly cost-effective methods to pop camo leads. Now let's just jump straight into this. So we've got 10 pretty easy methods. We'll go for the wizard first uh, and it is the 022 wizard. Uh, it doesn't have to, well, it does actually have to be the 022. Uh, we'll get the, actually no, it can be the 012. Because you need the, you need the uh, camera detection and then you need the fireball. Um, and then that can, that, that can easily pop camo leads. And it will do a fairly good job as well. So let's send a camera med. Also, to be noted, um, the shimmer upgrade does actually reveal camo balloons in the radius. Um, Dark magic reveals location of all nearby camo balloons permanently. So it's like a village, but quite cheap. Um, so that's that's to be noted. So that's an easy. That's what the first way to kill it. Also, the list is in no particular order. This is just in any random order. So for second up, we have the sub, and it's the 400 sub. It's quite it, it's quite expensive, but on maps like this, it's very 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 good. Uh, longer range, all of these, and then Bluntonium reactor. And you can see we can send tons of camo leads against this, and none will get past. If, it, if your Bluntonium reactor is in a good spot, not much will get past it. Um, up until ceramics, um, and of course ceramics can get past it fairly easily. So that's number two. Uh, it's much more, um, more money, uh, I think, but it's very, very good, especially on maps like this, easy maps. Okay, so the third method we have is actually is using the sub again, but it's a bit different because you, you're actually going for the longer range, the advanced intel, and then you're going for the ninja, and you upgrade this to barb darts and heat tip darts. Now, the reason why we have the ninja is because the sub with uh, the advanced intel upgrade can hit whatever's in the other towers, your other towers radius. Now, ninja could pop camo balloons, which means any balloons in the radius of the ninja, you could get it up to ninja discipline if you want to up increase the range. Any balloons in that radius, the sub will be able to pop. So if we send a camo lead, that's why you have to get the heat tip darts because that pops lead balloons and this is camo lead. Um, so you can see that it pops up fairly easily. Again, it's not amazingly cost effective, but it is fairly good. And especially if you get the later upgrades like ballistic missile and first strike capability, very, very powerful upgrades from the submarine. So the fourth way to pop camo leads is again, it's with the boat. So it's another water tower. It's not sub, it's the boat. And this is one of my favorites. This is probably my second favorite. So it's the 022 boat. So you got long range, crow's nest, great shot, and then hot shot. And that can nail camo leads. If we send like that many camo leads, uh, maybe even more, it's really cheap actually. It's really not that expensive. You can sell it for 1,200. It does a very, very good job against these balloons because the hot shot burns the balloons just like the mortar um, with the. The, oh, what's it called? Yeah, Bernie stuff uh, in BTD5 or Balloon City Battle. Sadly, the mortar is not in this game. That was one of the best ways to pop camo leads. Sadly, it's not here anymore, but we still got lots more methods to go. Um, so the fifth way to pop camo leads is a bit, it's a bit sketchy, to be honest, if I'm being honest with you, it's a bit sketchy. Uh, it's the 030, and you get the exploding uh, pineapple skyplane and then the bomber ace. Now this lays random bombs on the track, and sometimes, of course, on a hard map, they'd miss it. Um, but it's the only reason why I'm including it on the list is because it is fairly cheap, only 1,099 to sell. Uh, so that means maybe like 1,600 to buy or something. Um, and you, you'll see that it might actually miss these camo leads, but if the bombers hit the camo leads, it does very well. And you have, if you have a few of these balloons on the screen, it will do a very nice job. And you can see that we did, and in fact, pop most of the balloons and all of the camo leads. Uh, not stuff inside, but most of the camo leads. So that's the fifth way. Sixth way is my favorite. It's the, the one I always use. It's the sniper. And it's so cheap. You, literally 300, 255, 295. And then you've got yourself a nice, camo led popping tower it's very very cheap i'd advise you to set it to strong because lead balloons are very very slow and if you set it uh, and if you set it to first then it will just hit the first balloons on the screen and that will tend not to be the camo leads so you can see it will do a nice job against these camo leads it will get them down to greens and if you go for like shrapnel shot i'm sure that will do a lot better against group balloons and it does 
Um, so the seventh way, the dart monkey. Now this is quite expensive, but on a long straightaway, it's very, very, very useful. Um, so it's the 402, so we'll get two there and four here. It's the juggernaut. And this is very, very good on straightaways. I normally set it to last on a straightaway. Um, so if you send a couple of camelids, it's very good for grouped balloon pop and power. But again, it is fairly expensive, so you won't, you won't always be going for this tower. And it's, it's also quite slow for reloading. So it's not the best, but if you get it in the right place, it can be very, very, very good. It can be really, really good. So. Eighth on the list is the Spike Factory. This is another nice way. I don't tend to use it much. Let's just put it here. Um, so it's the 200 Spike Factory. So you go for the bigger stacks, the white hot spikes. Um, again, it's it's not that expensive, but it is a bit more expensive than you'd like. Although it is very, very good. Uh, if we send a couple of camelids here, you'll see that the, the spikes generally just demolish it. So that's a really nice upgrade for camelids. Uh, the ninth on the list is the Ninja, and it's the 003 Ninja. I use this one quite a lot. We, let's just get rid of these spikes, actually. That's kind of annoying. Let's send a couple of purple balloons to get rid of those spikes. Uh, right, that was a good amount. Anyway, so the 003 Ninja, uh, which is the Flash Bomb. The Flash Bomb, also, bear in mind, if you get the Distraction and the Counter Espionage, that's a very good combo because the Flash Bomb hits tons of balloons at once, and the Counter Espionage strips camo from balloons that the ninja hits, which is very good for the flash bomb, as it hits, it tends to hit lots of balloons, and that means your other towers can hit camo balloons. So if we send a couple of camo leads, um, the only weakness is that it's not amazing against regen balloons, but you'll see the flash bomb is very, very good for grouped popping power. Again, not so much regens. You can see it will struggle a ton against these regen balloons. Um, okay, so 10th on the list is actually the village. Now, the village um, camo upgrade, so grow blocker, radar scanner, so it's the 020 village. You can put any tower here um, that can hit lead balloons and it will hit camo lead balloons. For example, the 470 alchemist can now pop camo lead balloons. Uh, it's, not a, it's not really the only, it's, it's not a tower that can pop it, but it's a tower that helps other towers pop it. And if you have one uh, village and then you have lots of towers um, surrounding it, uh, the effect will apply to all of those towers, so it's a, a, a nice upgrade. Um, so if we send a couple of uh, camelids, you can see that the OO Alchemist is really not a bad tower at all. It's actually doing a very nice job against those. So this was my first tutorial video. I hope you enjoyed. It's a bit different to normal, um, so I apologize if I could have done it better in any way. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if it helped you, if you're struggling with camelids and this did help you pop them. And yeah, see you in the next video.